are we doing this morning? Okay, good to know. Um, does your head still ache? Okay, that's good. What about this stomach pain? Okay, that's good. So, have you had anything to eat today? What have you eaten? I can't understand that. Please talk to me. I know you're not dumb. Because you spoke to me two days ago when you were brought in here. So, tell me, why haven't you eaten? Do you still feel any pain in any part of your body? Not even your mouth? So why can't you talk to me? Abigail? Anyways, I'll be at the reception till you're ready to talk. Miss Titi, why is she not talking? I don't know. I don't just understand. She has been acting annoyingly funny since she was brought here two days ago. And this morning, she just practically decided to play dumb. It's beginning to piss me off because it will affect me from doing my job. You should have persuaded Hada to get her to talk. You know it's part of our job. Now, Sarisa, what did I not do? I did all I could. Yes, people that be Abigail are naturally stubborn and very rude. And what is that supposed to mean? Exactly what I just said. She's your namesake and she's been acting like you. She's been acting very rude and stubborn. So, what you're trying to say is that I am very rude and stubborn. Oh, don't you know you are? Oh, it's okay, both of you. Maybe the lady in question has some personal issues bothering her. And that is why she has been acting unfriendly. Now, Sarisa, whatever it is, I am not interested in attending to her anymore. For as long as she continues to act dumb. Maybe I need to take and get her to talk. Um, Nurse Abigail, can you please try and convince her to talk? Or should I try? Uh, I'll try. I know, City. What? You have some questions to answer about calling me rude and stubborn. I'll be back for you. Oh, please, don't attend to your colleague. Stubborn people. I should take it easy with her. She's so stubborn. It's clinic matter. Today. Mm, you're looking healthy. How was your night? Um, you know, there's this thing about people they call Abigail. We're very unique and special. People don't understand us, but you know, they get to think we are rude, proud, and very stubborn, but we're just who we are. Don't you think so? Um, okay. You really have to talk to me. A problem shared is half solved. I'm really running out of patience. You really have to, you can't keep acting like this. You get people to think you're rude and stubborn. Okay, if you don't want to talk, I guess I'll just let you be. You know, on a second top, I'll just try one more time and that will be it. Rudeness doesn't take anyone anywhere and I really don't know why you've chosen to start acting really dumb. It's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. Nurse. Please, I'm sorry if I'm acting so annoying. I didn't mean to. Anyone who gets you to talk. Listen. No matter what you're going through in life, it's wise you talk to people about it. You don't know where your solution might come from. Hmm? And you have this look of sadness on your face. Is it about your health? Or is there something you're going through you might want to share? It hurts when people you consider the most important in your life don't care about you. That's the irony of life, my dear. The people we trust and love so much sometimes disappoint us. But listen, if this is about some guy who broke your heart, trust me, it's not worth the trouble. Mm -mm. Yes, my heart is broken, but not by some guy, by my parents. They just don't care about me. That's deep and confusing. You might want to break that down a bit. It's a long story, and I don't want to take your time. Trust me, I have all the time. 
I'm done with my morning duties and except if it's for an emergency. I think I have about 20 to 30 minutes, so take my time. No, City. Yes. She won't believe this. Why is that? If 47-year-old man defiles a five-year-old girl. Is that for what real? See, see for yourself. That was a pure act of demonic spell. Ah. Uh -uh. I think only men with low self-esteem and lack of self-control are capable of such shameful acts. Exactly. Yes, there is an art on me. What kind of future awaits a girl who has been defiled at the age of five? Eh? <coughs> oh, any luck? Yes. I was able to talk to her. What Nostiti couldn't do? You know, when a professional handles a situation, it's quite different from when an amateur does. Have a go. And who is the professional and the amateur in this case? Figure that out yourself. If there's anything you're a professional at, it's the art of a busybody. Thank you. I'm a professional busybody who knows how to get a patient to confide in her. Nurse Abigail, please, can you just stop this unnecessary argument and tell us exactly what the lady said is wrong with her? There are things happening in this libel, especially in this our country. You know, money has become so powerful that parents would rather their own daughter live unhappy for the rest of her life than seek for justice for her happiness. This world is coming to an end. Abigail, please forget about money, justice, and this your rapture speech. Go straight to the point. Tell us what the lady told you. Uh, who is a busybody now? Anyway, I'll tell you. You won't believe it. The lady was raped by a guy whose parents are rich and famous in this society. Uh, and she reported the case to her parents. And they decided to go to the police. But the boy's parents offered them the sum of five million naira not to say a word. No, don't tell me the parents accepted that money. That explains my money, justice and rapture speech. They accepted and told the girl not to say a word to anyone. And now the girl is dying in silence there. Huh. You know, some human beings are beasts in human skin. Abigail, how do you explain a 47-year-old man who chooses to destroy the future of a five-year-old girl just because of sexual pleasure? Can you see this? Now you will agree with me that the world is indeed coming to an end. There should be a suitable punishment by law for such wicked acts. There is. I just hope whatever the punishment is matches the crime. Talking about a suitable punishment for this, I think the biblical approach should be applied here. So what is the biblical approach? You don't know. Mm -hmm. The Bible says if your finger causes you to sin, cut it off. Mm. What? It's my own opinion. Hey, Nasabi, I beg, no first say I won't put mouth for this matter. And hey, I've been here for inside when you and the girl they talk. Ah, her story touched me well, well. And how did you hear what she told me? Did you eavesdrop on us? Ah, bro, hey, you know, say, I can't change the embassy. So, everything when you see, they follow you talk. Nah, yeah. Oh, well, okay, that's true. So, you are listening to all what we are saying? No wonder it took you longer than usual to change the best bread. Ah, well, the thing where me I want to talk for the matter, we say, eh? You know, good as the boy rape uh, the girl, he better as the family collect the money. Ah, uh, what nonsense are you talking about? Even if the girl's parents are Richard Popper, there is no price good enough for justice, not in this case. Ah, order, if I let make I finish. Okay, make we assume, say, eh? The money where the uh, girl parents not collect, eh? They can't carry and go give police. They can't say that justice, then what? Eh? Can't go report for police. What it make you see, say, police no go collect that money, keep for hand. I don't understand you. Eh, okay, make I explain. If they give five million naira, Eh? Where the girl parents no want to the police. What it make you think say the rape case you not go die finally. You no go hear anything about the matter again. The parents the they can't lose uh, five million. They go seek and lose justice. That's true. You know it's one thing to seek for justice and it's another thing to you know get it. But I don't think it's all police officers that are corrupt. Some of them still have this admirable sense of duty. And we also have some incompetent and self-centered quacks in other professions. So I don't think it's just the police force. I think the police have so many things on their hands to tackle. You know, I think there should be a form of anti-crime body that would specialize on cases like rape, child molestation, and other similar cases. You know, with this, it will bring perpetrators to book. What do you think? Yes, I totally agree with you. Just like we have the EFCC tackling money laundering and other financial crimes. Hmm. Yes, exactly. Guys, <clears throat> I have an idea. Why don't we, you know, form an NGO that deals with rape, 
sexual harassment, child molestation, all similar cases, you know, will help people get justice and evil doers will be brought to book. That's one good though. It not be bad idea at all. Yes. And we'll call the name of the organization Abigail's Foundation. I'll be the head of the organization and you guys will be my staff. And together we'll work together and raise good moral standards. You see? Well, I bet I won't go work. I asked you to see me urgently. I'm sure you're wondering why. Oh yes, I want to believe it's about my daughter's illness and what are the problems? There's a problem, a very big problem. And what is the matter? Your daughter has responded to treatment very well. What? She's been acting lost since you brought her in here for medical treatment. I think her self-esteem and ego has been bruised and it has affected her psychologically and it's dangerous to her future. So I'm wondering, do you know why? No, I don't. She has the best of everything we can afford to. So it's not about what you can afford. I think it has something to do with justice. Justice? I don't think I have any idea of what that could be. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I am the father. Maybe she's reacting this way because of her slight um, illness. Mm -mm. It's not about her illness. She told me about what happened. What exactly did she tell you? It's not as if it's my business, but I find it very difficult keeping my mouth shut when it has to do with people's future. I mean, your daughter told me about the rape incidents and how you and your wife are planning to collect the money instead of seeking justice. How could you? <sighs> Nurse. I know you think I'm a father that does not care about his daughter. But five million naira is a lot of money. Is it worth your daughter's future? Do you know the damage you've done to her by not trying to seek justice? Huh? She might take decisions that would affect her for the rest of her life and she becomes useless to herself and you. No. I wanted to fight. I wanted to get justice. But that guy's parents are influential people. I, I, I can't defeat them if I should go to a war with them. I can't. You could have tried. At least she would have been assured of your fatherly love and concern. She doesn't trust you and her mother anymore. She's finding it very difficult to deal with the situation. And, 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 oh, 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 what, sh what sh should we do? Oh, is, it, is, it, is it late? She's your daughter. You should find a way to reassure her of your fatherly love and concern. Else your decision might haunt you in the nearest future. God. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. How for them? Ah. How are you? Leo. Say enough first. I've been the worst clothes for backyard. Yeah. Then talk so. So why is the work? <laughs> well, thank God. Hey, but this one where I see you, I hope say problem you know the. Ah, problem they will be leaky. Say be you know say now you be the only friends where I get for Lagos. Mm. Oh, be leaky. The things my eyes see today, I no be fan. In short, me and never know the thing to talk safe. Ah, ah. Now what you happen? Now for the new place where they do a more the work, you. Eh? You get one more, no, they call uncle. If they leave it, my will guard them. Mm. And my organ them gets one small gear picking. See, mm. they for KSS1. Mm. This morning, I cast the uncle and the gear for inside the bedroom. Mm. You cast them? I don't understand. I say I cast them together. Now, JJ, I they clean the house this morning. Yo. I can't say make I enter her bedroom go sweep. So I forget to knock. As I enter, nobody, uncle and the gear on top of the bed. Eh, mm. whether they just they play. We can hear you play with that one. I say I cast them, they do something together. Mm. Now, as they see me, now they begin to wear their clothes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now since when my mother and my Oga don't travel, mm. now I don't have suspicion say something they fix him. Hey, Biliki. Hey, hey, hey. Me, I don't know what to do for this kind of matter. Go, go, go. Sorry. Not the only man. Yeah, go. Yeah, this one. I bet come inside. Don't go there. Nothing. Ah. Hey. You know, 
this thing is becoming an epidemic. And so many lives are being destroyed every day by adults who can't just control their sexual urge. And these so-called adults are close and trusted relatives. I mean, I wish I had some special powers to make them disappear from this planet. Oh, wow. So, Sigura, what do you intend to do about what you just found out? <laughs> Nurses, me, I don't know the thing to do. Because my spirit you no know, lets me rest since morning where I see the thing. Now you make me run content, my friend Binky. Oh, Sikira, wait till me, I'll tell you, be say. The thing where they happen between you and the girl and the young. We're not concerned you. Now the job where they give you. Now you make you face so. What are you talking about? Eh? Are you alright? How can you say what's happening is none of her business? Why are you so insensitive? Ah, now which one can be insensible for this matter now? This matter is not the small matter where person go just shook him out for any app. So she should keep quiet and let the evil deed continue? People like you are the people allowing these evil people abound in our society. I beg, why can't they start from my head? Now maybe the uncle where they are about to get. Then if you don't have any good advice to say, then keep your mouth shut. What if she was your child or your sister? Will you allow some shameless uncle to take over her life? Hmm? What are you looking for? Sikira, we have to find a solution to this. And we have to do it very fast. Oh, no sis. When I go advise me, because me, I don't know the thing to do. Well, I would have suggested you report what you saw to the girl's parents, but you know definitely the uncle would not admit to the crime. He would definitely deny it. So. That's true. That's very correct. You know, issues like this are easier proven when caught in the act. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing where the child talk with that, because if she say, Miss, go talk that thing, eh? the uncle go can't lie, say, yeah, see, 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 they lie for the head, they go can't sack her. You can't say, Miss, no, go. But we have to find a solution okay. to this. I mean, we can't continue to keep quiet about this. It's not right. Uh, Sikira, mm -hmm. how close are you to the girl in question? We're close very well. In short, the girl and my body. Good. She's the one we have to talk to. First and foremost, you have to make her see reasons with you, confide in you, so she can report to her parents, and I think that way, her uncle won't be able to deny it. Ah, that's good. Nice Abigail. That's a very smart and sensible approach. Thank you. I've always been the most sensible and smartest solution provider when it comes to difficult problems like this. <sighs> it's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Hey, let's have a go. Hey, baby. How? I don't have to ask how you're feeling. You're looking all bright this morning. Yes, I'm much better. Hmm. What did you say to my daddy yesterday? Did he say I said anything to him? He was crying bitterly yesterday. I couldn't believe my ears when he said I should forgive me and he was apologizing. He told me why he took the money instead of trying to get justice. I had the opportunity to pour out my heart to him and he promised to still try to get justice. Mm. I just hope it's not too late. The good thing is that he's shown you he cares about you and your happiness. I think he deserves your trust once again. Give him a second chance. Yes, I've forgiven him and my mother, and I've been able to put the incident behind me. I couldn't believe it was so easy to forgive and forget. That's the special thing about us, Abigail. We don't hold on to the past when there's so much in stock for us in the future. We're yeah. so special. Yes, we are. Thanks for everything. Oh, you're welcome, Dad.